Hi, so I'm going to take a couple of minutes to talk about the computer science programs that we offer here at Cardiff University. My name's Martin and I'm the Director of Learning Teaching here in the School of Computer Science and Informatics. So in this video I'm going to be talking about our computer science programs. So there's our three-year programs, the BSc Computer Science and the BSc Computer Science with Security and Forensics, and our four-year MSci Computer Science. All of these are available with a variant where we add an extra year in between years two and three. So you can either go and undertake a paid placement on our year in industry option, or go and study computer science somewhere else in the world on our year of study abroad. This is the structure of our common year one. So all of the programs share this year one, um, which means there is some flexibility. You can transfer between the programs either at the end of year one or even possibly at the end of year two. You'll notice that the year is divided into two semesters, autumn semester and spring semester. We have some modules that span both semesters. We have some modules that only take up one semester. What's fairly unique and distinct for our program is we don't drop you in at the deep end. The minute you arrive at university, uh, plunging you straight into five, six different subjects uh, within the program, Instead, we start off the course with this four-week computational thinking mo module, which acts as an introduction to some of the key skills, some of the key areas of computer science, and also acts as a kind of introduction and a uh, way to ease that transition from school or college to university. So that module will start to see where you are as a computer scientist, where your skills are. We appreciate that some people will come into the program having already studied computer science, having already done a lot of programming. And some people will come into the program having never studied computer science before and never done any programming. And the computational thinking module allows us to start bringing those skill levels together to seeing where everybody is. It allows us to push the people who've already done a little bit of programming to start developing their skills. And it allows us to introduce those who've never seen any programming before to the skills they'll need throughout the degree. Mm -hmm. You'll see then over the rest of the year, we look at a range of different subjects again, quite a lot of programming languages, Python, Java. In web applications, you'll be looking at JavaScript, HTML, CSS. We also start to look at some of the software engineering skills, some of the key industrial skills that you'll need as a computer scientist working in industry, team working, communication, software development, those kind of things. We'll look at mathematics, the key bits of mathematics that you need uh, for a degree in computer science. And we'll also look at the lower levels, the architecture and the operating systems so that by the end of year one, you've got a really well-rounded set of core computer science knowledge. I've already mentioned that we teach a range of programming languages in the first year, and this carries on throughout the degree. The idea is not that we teach you those programming languages so that you can come out of the degree scheme saying, oh, I can program in language X, Y, or Z. Uh, the idea is that by exposing you to a range of different languages, you're able to see the commonalities You'll be able to see how they relate to computational thinking, how they relate to this problem solving uh, mindset that you develop throughout the course. So that when you come out of the degree program, you're not restricted to saying, oh, I can program in Python, I can program in Java, but that you can say, I am a programmer. I am able to program in whatever language you want to put in front of me, I'll be able to pick it up. And we try and instill that mindset throughout the program. Moving on to year two, Here's where we start to specialize. So we have a group of core modules that everybody will take, including a large group project where you'll work in a team to develop some sort of software solution. Um, modules on other core computer science skills, networking, uh, object-oriented development, algorithms and data structures, HCI, databases, all those kinds of things. But then there's also options. So you can start to specialize, depending on your interests, in a particular area of computer science. Now, these options are constantly changing, constantly evolving. As a school, we review our degree scheme every year to make sure it's current, to ensure that it's teaching the things that you will need as a computer scientist in the real world. So these optional modules are the ones that are available this year. It may be that by the time you come to year two, some of these will have changed. Um, but we're always trying to make sure that the degree scheme is current, relevant and interesting to our students. In year three, this is where you really get to specialize your degree based on your interests. So you'll see there's only 50 credits out of a total of 120 that are core 
your individual project and the emerging technologies module. And then you can choose a whole range uh, of options depending on what you're interested in. If you're on the security and forensics specialism, it's probably not going to surprise you that you must take the security and the forensics modules. Um, but other than that, you've got pretty much free reign to select from the rest of the options. If you're on the computer science program, then you can choose as you like. If you're on the MSI program, you can again choose as you like, but you'll need to pay attention because some of the options will be similar in year four, and we don't allow students to repeat similar options between years three and years four. So by the end of the MSI, you'll have got a wide range of options because you'll be able to take some options in year three and then other options in year four, so you get a real breadth of computer science knowledge. So in year four of the MSI, again, there's a small amount of core modules, a large team project that you need to take, and then a bunch of different options that you can choose from. So that's the general structure of our computer science degrees and some of the things you'll be studying uh, when you come and take our program here at Cardiff.